Okay, so let's have a look at the analysis of the heart bleed vulnerability. Okay, so we've captured network traffic from this host to this vulnerable website at 150 here. So we found out that this was running 1.0.1e of the OpenSSL program, uh, which is known to be vulnerable. So we sent in two, we ran two programs, one to see uh, if, if it was vulnerable and the other one actually exploited the vulnerability and sent back the, the, the memory. So let's now have a look in more detail at what came back. Okay, so the first program that we run was really just a, a connect with OpenSSL with some debug information to see if we could get the heartbeat from the uh, from OpenSSL and the other one was the full Python script to be able to exploit the vulnerability. So if we just pull up our network trace we can have a look. Okay, so what we should find is there were two network connections. Okay, and there they are there. One, two. Okay, so that's the first one. The the basic debug started at packet 5 and then the other one started at packet 31 okay so there's the sin there's the synac and and so on okay so what we should find is that uh, the data that's transmitted we see our certificate coming over and so on uh, so the data we get back should be encrypted because we're using port 443 uh, as the HTTP port. Okay, so, so no one can look at the data packets and actually manage to find out what's in them because they are actually encrypted. Okay, so we can see all the data that, that we look at. We can have a look at the whole of the of the trace. If we just right click here, we'll just follow the TCP stream and we can see the certificate. Then after that, we have encrypted data. Okay, so this was the first part of it. The second part was where we investigated the the vulnerability. So the packet that was crafted has the 16030201. So we now search for that. We should be able to see 16 16030201. That one and there it is there okay so that that is uh, the the packet that uh, that actually goes out there's the 1603 there okay so so that that is the packet that's been crafted to be sent out let's have a look there we go. Okay, so 16030200 DC0100 here. Okay, so we can see here this is the this is the 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 request that's actually made from the Python script uh, to to here. Okay, and comes back if we have a look what comes back is uh, so the next uh, what gets sent is then the heartbeat request and here we are in the heartbeat request okay so there's the heartbeat request And there it is there. Okay, so that is the request that's actually sent out. So this was the initial payload that was sent out. And then this is sent out to be able to determine if we have the heartbeat request. And you see what comes back is this. And so remember, this is port 443 that's coming back. And look what we can see. Oh dear. <laughs> What we can actually see is the non-encrypted 
version of the, the running memory. Okay, so it, that is a severe flaw with inside the, this program to actually release, even though we're using port 443, which should be encrypted, we can actually see uh, things coming back in, in plain text. Okay, so that, that uh, identifies our vulnerability and you can have a look at the, the trace and you'll see it's it, uh, the same sort of signs as we see there. Okay, so, so that's an overview of the network trace.